Okay guys, um, I'm going to give you a fast gear review on this outdoor portable charger for your iPhone or Android. Um, first of all, the solar panel on this picks up really well. It's stretch resistant and it's uh, water resistant. It comes with a dual LED light which is uh, pretty bright. You just push the button. There's your light. Click it again. You got your SOS. And then you got a strobe. Um, so if you're on a boat, you're camping, you're hiking, um, whatever, uh, even on the side of the road, and you get yourself in trouble, you have your um, a way to signal somebody um, from a distance to uh, help you. So that's pretty. That's that's really cool. Um, you got this little. Hold on. You got this uh, lid to protect your ports. Um, you got a dual USB port, or I'm sorry, charging points. Um, you can charge two cell phones. Um, right here you got your little um, charging port for your wall. And I'm going to tell you, it's a, you know, it's just common sense. You plug this into your wall, you're going to charge this phone a lot faster than by sunlight. But it does, um, the solar does really good on keeping this thing um, pretty much charged up. E even for like a long weekend. I, I didn't have any problem. I charged my phone maybe um, over a weekend, maybe five times. And it still had plenty of life in it. Because every time I was outside, I kept this on my uh, belt loop or a backpack. And it kept it charged. And I'll show you the indicating light when you're outside. So when you're inside, you're going to have the blue light to tell you that, that when you're charging by the wall, you're going to have blue light to tell you that it's charging. When you're outside, you're going to have this green light to let you know that it's being charged by solar. And it's a very gray day. It's raining and it's, and it's charging. So that's very cool. So I would say this thing is water resistant. I've had it out in the rain before and it has, it works fine. It didn't do anything to it. Um, on the description on Amazon, it says it's waterproof. Well, this is the lid and there's no rubber gaskets in here to protect it from the water. So I think if this thing goes in the water, it's going to get in those components and I think it's probably going to fry it. So I would suggest, to, you know, I wouldn't say this thing is waterproof. I'm more comfortable saying it's water resistant. Um, you have a little compass on the back, which is cute. Um, but I would not use this as a main navigation tool. Um, get yourself a, a good quality compass for that. But again, it's just a nice little add-on. Um, I think it's kind of cute. But all in all, um, this is a um, very sturdy phone. Um, the ruggedness, um, I think that if you bang it around, it's not going to hurt it. Um, if it drops from a high distance, I think it's going to break. Um, you throw it, it's definitely going to break. But yeah, I mean, it, it is very sturdy. And again, $21. Um, it keeps all my, um, it keeps my, uh, phone charged up and that's what it's for. Um, just one little thing. I, I, um, when I was at work, I drive around in a truck and, um, I left my phone and my charger cause my phone was dying. So I wanted to charge my phone up, left it in the truck. Now it was 
about 90 degrees outside. And when I'm working, I got to keep my windows rolled up. And it got super hot in the cab. And when I got back in the cab, I noticed this thing has shut off. So that's, to me, that's pretty cool. Because, um, the you know, if it overheats, I'm sure you can fry this. You can fry your phone while you're trying to charge it. So it doesn't say anything in the description that I can't find. that It has like a surge protector on it. But it did a good job. And when I got... Um, I just threw this thing in my lunchbox, got the AC going in my truck, and within 20 minutes, I was able to charge my phone again. So that's very cool. Um, and again, you get this on Amazon.com for uh, $21. Uh, I'm not making anything off this at all. I just want to give you guys a real life review of products that I really like a lot. Um, and I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe. And I'm hoping to get back on the water soon. We're in the middle of redoing an RV. And we're moving out of our house on September 3rd. So... So we get done with the move, um, I'll be able to get back on the water and start uh, fishing again. I did get on the water um, Sunday. My wife was nice enough to give me the day off from the working on the RV. Uh, we've been working on it very hard. Um, we're about done. So she gave me the Sunday and I basically just got my float tube and floated down the river. I did a little bit of fishing, but it was just so nice just to relax and get back out on the water. So I'll be back fishing, hopefully by um, mid-September. Again, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching.